I'm going to start by reinstalling the rear fascia extension. So this one here is uh, the driver's side. We do get many calls and pictures, you know, basically saying why it doesn't fit. So it is always a matter of orientation. The painted surface points the sky and it follows a little bit the theme of the rocker. So the fit should contour the fascia and the extension of the diffuser. There's two screws underneath. I'm going to install the outer two screws. There's a single one, which is a common screw between the mud flap and the extension. So in this case, I'm going to try to install both together because I can. I mean, if you had bought the extensions first, obviously you're not going to remove it. But in this case, I could get a perfect lineup of all the components. So I'm going to be doing that. And then finally installing the rivet. The XL rock guard. I've transferred over the U-nut. So we always have a U-nut at the bottom of uh, the original trim piece or your XL or the GM splash guard. This is transferred over to the new one. I line up my clip and basically apply pressure right over the point. I made sure the tab underneath slid under. And now we have our last seven millimeter screw, which is a common screw for both the mud flap or the rock guard, I should say, and our fascia extension. I'm reinstalling my fresh rivets. And we now have a full carbon flash layout. I'm gonna reinstall the wheel, get the car on the ground, and we'll do our, um, our walk around of the, the pieces and their details.